In this chapter, we are going to create a Fresnel effect. We won't be creating the effect to be accurate mathematically, but it will give a good artistic impression of the effect. First, let's adjust the background color using the hue saturation adjustment, ensuring that colorize is checked. This will make the scene a little warmer. This is not related to the Fresnel effect, but does make the image look nicer. Now we can choose the reflection channel for the Fresnel effect. You can see how it adds to the scene. Before we start work, we duplicate the channel for safety, then we add a new mask, and we are going to use the View Normal channel. The View Normal channel contains the information about the angle between the surface and the viewer. Notice how it is dark where the sphere's surface is facing away and light where the surface faces towards us. We use Select All with Control A and then Copy with Control C. We then select the mask for our copied reflection layer and paste the copy into it. We can see the difference this makes by going back to View Our Layer. We can adjust the effect using the Curves tool on the mask. We use this to exaggerate the effect to strengthen the difference between the edge and center of the sphere. We need to invert the mask though as the reflection should be stronger on surfaces facing away and weaker on those facing us. Now we can duplicate the layer to intensify the effect. And then we can use the fill parameter to fine tune the strength of the effect. To adjust the effect further, select the original reflection and then reduce the fill, reducing the reflection in the center and enhancing the effect. This gives us a much more interesting look already, but we can go further than just adding a Fresnel look to the reflection. Let's select the Diffuse layer and then select the sphere using the Magic Wand tool using a tolerance of 2. A couple of clicks will select the whole sphere. We can save the selection for later use, giving us a new channel in case we want to isolate the sphere again. This is a handy ability and one to take advantage of. Now we can apply a distortion to the reflection only, just as if adding some bumps to the surface of the sphere. In this instance, we are using the ocean ripple effect. This shows more of what can be done by manipulating reflections. Let's finish off this picture by making the surface of the sphere a little more interesting. Now it's possible for us to load a different image and a different layer off of a different image we can load in the reflection layer from another file, one we used earlier in the course, Chapter 9, Blurred Reflections. So drag and drop the reflection layer from that image into our new image. Working with multiple renders can be very useful. Here we add in a reflection where there was none before. And we can blend it into the scene using the fill value. Although adding Fresnel can be used to make the scene more realistic, we've gone a little more overboard and unusual just to illustrate the possibilities. For realism, adding even a subtle touch of the Fresnel style effect can be very effective. We want to keep an eye on this effect in real life.